Growing up in Sri Lanka, I never had the opportunity to buy Jordans or Adidas. I watched Michael Jordan play and those cool kicks he had on, I always wanted them, but I didn't have access to them. That's where my love story with sneakers started. I collect all types of sneakers from Jordans to Nikes to Vans to Converse. I think of sneakers as an art piece rather than something you wear on your foot. I'm a serial sneakerhead, serial entrepreneur, and an all-around sneaker lover. I'm originally from Sri Lanka. I migrated to Canada in 2011. I was working for this film production and distribution company in Toronto. All of a sudden, they laid off like 40 to 50 people on my team. So I was out of a job, hopeless, not knowing what to do. I take my phone out to check my bank balance and find this $700 in my bank account. I decided I'll, I'll go all in and put that $700 towards SneakerTub and that's how SneakerTub was born. SneakerTub is a mystery sneaker subscription service. The package is a total surprise. When I started SneakerTub, I didn't have any direct relationships with any of the brands. So I started calling like Vans, Saucony, Puma, and all the major brands to try and get an account. Puma and Saucony were the two brands who took a chance on me first. Little by little, bit by bit, the other brands started coming along. The evolution of SneakerTub was to turn it into a physical retail space where our customers can come in and wear the shoes rather than just living online. Milk would be such a cool name for a sneaker store and we can, we can set it up in such a cool way. What I want to do is to introduce people to new brands, uh, to stuff that they wouldn't necessarily pick up at a retail store, but they would love and be surprised by. I think the culture has come a long way. Sneakers have become more of a want than a need. People want to look cool. People want to wear what their favorite rapper wears. People want to wear what their favorite YouTuber wears. So it's a lot of hype in the culture, but that's not, that's not the kind of sneaker culture that I believe in. Wear what you like. Don't wear what like other people wear. Like have your own unique style. I'm so glad I got laid off from my job. I don't have any creative barriers. I can do whatever I want. I can dream as big as I want. That's why I wanted to turn my passion, which is sneakers, collecting sneakers and an addiction to sneakers to something that I can make money with. I'm just a brown kid from Sri Lanka who had big dreams of owning his own company or doing his own thing, not having a boss. And I think I've achieved that so far. 